So as researchers, it's important for us to know how to speak with others about our research. That's why at Baylor College of Medicine, we made these buttons. So just pick one up, put it on, and start a conversation. That's why I'm here with my friend Nova to talk about my work. So what do you research about? Um, one of the areas we're really interested in now in my laboratory is learning about how cells, like cells in your body, can kill bacteria. Do you know what bacteria are? They're these things that sometimes grow in your body and cause infections, like ear infections and so forth. And it turns out um, your cells have a number of different ways that they kill bacteria, help you get better, and uh, so we study that. Why did you choose to do bacteria? Well, that's a long story. Um, the organism that we study um, is actually an amoeba. And it's a cell that's a lot like cells in your body. Um, but the amoebae actually live in the environment and they actually interact with, with bacteria. And so it turns out that the interactions between amoebae and bacteria uh, are sort of a useful way to study how cells kill bacteria. Do you ever have to, like you get so far and then you mess up and you have to restart? and start from the beginning and you're almost like, like to the answer of what you were trying to find out? Constantly. <laughs> That's really a big part of research. That's a very sophisticated question actually. Um, so research is a lot of trial and error. And we keep going through cycles of asking a question, trying the experiment, looking at the result, and then if the result goes one way or another, you, do, you formulate a different experiment and you just keep repeating the process. I hear uh, you had a science fair project that was quite successful. Congratulations. Do you want to tell me about it? Yes, so I decided to do which pet was the cleanest. Whoa! Which pets did you look at? A cat, a rat, and a dog. Well, back up. Hold on a second. <laughs> rat as a pet? So we used um, agar kits mm -hmm. and sterile swabs and sterile water to do mm -hmm. everything. And we did grow bacteria in our bathroom. Uh -huh. We got like the correct heat and stuff. And we did three tests and it turns out the rats were the cleanest. Wow. So what kind of samples did you take from the animals? We took from the um, paws and the cheeks, the nose and the head. Okay. All of the work that I do is on organisms that are stuck in between the toes of the dog that you are working on. So all of the organisms that I work on are out living in the soil, like out in your yard. And so we bring those into the lab and we work with them on petri dishes too. So just to kind of relate to what you were doing. So your dog is running around with my experiments on his paws. Since you were... Um, so good about telling me about your research, I wanted to present you with this button that says, ask me about my research. So if you wear this button at school, one of your classmates probably can ask you about your research project. There you go. Thank you. Thanks for talking with me today.